It is 9 o'clock in the morning, and we are coming to you live from Greenwood Village, Colorado. So far, we have seen no signs of the snowstorm or any sort of precipitation. It's actually a balmy 41 degrees. I'll be providing up-to-the-minute coverage throughout today's snowstorm. Welcome back to our live coverage of the Snowpocalypse 2019 here in Wheat Ridge, Colorado. With holiday parties and special events just around the corner, now is the perfect time to be looking into whether or not an eye cream is right for you. Today's topics include how to work night shift and still avoid grandma asking, why do you look so tired? Do your eyes have cancer or are they just lazy? Crow's feet, what to try first before you pull out the wood spackle and sandpaper? All this and more coming up next, eye creams. Let's get down to the basics. Where did they come from? Why do we use them? Do we need them? And do they actually help? Now, under eye circles are probably the most annoying problem for skincare. The reason being they're the most difficult to treat. And the reason they're the most difficult to treat is because there's so many different reasons why you might find yourself seeing dark circles in pictures and feeling like the mirror is showing you a person that doesn't reflect the true you. There are basically three different kinds of dark circles. Um, the first and most common just has to do with the shape of the under eye. Uh, if you can tip your head back in a well-lit bathroom, look into the mirror and the dark circles are gone, this has to do mainly with shadowing and just the shape of the hollow underneath the eye. Now, that's an easy fix for most people. Concealer can brighten up that area. Reason number two that you might have dark circles actually is pigment. Much like hyperpigmentation from sunspots or acne spots or melasma, there is actual melanin that has built up in that area. Now, this tends to be more genetic, and so it's a little bit more difficult to get rid of. That said, you can use brightening ingredients that you would for normal dark spots on other parts of your skin, like vitamin C, Hydroquinone if you want to get aggressive, niacinamide will certainly help, and even a low dose retinol that's very gentle can help inhibit some of that melanin. As with any skin brightening treatment, wearing sunscreen is crucial. Finally, the most annoying because it's the least treatable is thin skin that shows the blood vessels underneath your eye. These tend to look purple or pinkish or even bluish. Obviously, there are blood vessels supplying nutrients to all of our skin. It's just that it's more visible when the skin is thinnest, which is what we have underneath the eye. So what about eye creams? Why are there so many of them and why do none of them seem to work? Finding out the source of your dark circles will help you choose a better eye cream. Vitamin C and niacinamide are a good place to start for discoloration on your eyes. Um, if it's more genetic thinness of skin, something like a retinol can help thicken that skin over time. And if it has more to do with the shape of the eye, Something with brightening in it that's purely a cosmetic superficial ingredient will help the most. If your overall concerns are early signs of aging and moisture, great. Use your face product underneath your eye as long as it's not causing you any sensitivity. However, if you have big differences between the skin concerns of your eye area and of the rest of your face, that's when an eye cream is awesome. The reason why I only have one eye cream that I've ever really stuck with is because my face concerns are pretty much the same as my eye concerns. Early signs of aging, I have dried a combination skin and some dark spots here and there. So I feel comfortable using the same products that I use for my whole face up underneath my eye and on the brow bone. So here it is, the only eye cream that I've repurchased. Tatcha's The Pearl. It is a tinted eye illuminating treatment cream. So the reason why I like it is it's both a under eye brightener and very mild concealer. Plus it's got some anti-aging and my favorite ingredient, niacinamide. I use the shade Soft Light. It goes on very smoothly. It's lightly hydrating. So it stays on nicely without a primer. It doesn't crease. It's got sheer enough coverage that I can certainly build it up. In fact, there have been times that I've used it as an all over face tinted moisturizer. It's not gonna make any massive changes all on its own, but it will generally help with early signs of aging in a very gentle way. All right, so if you actually wanna try out a true eye cream, here are a few of my recommendations. If you haven't heard of Paula Begon, she's an excellent educator for skin research and skin sciences and created her own line back in 1995. Eye creams were never a part of it until just a few years ago because she based all of her methodology on 
treating the eye area as you do the face and being just as gentle to the face as you would the eye area. So there was no need for a separate eye cream because there's been so much demand for her to create an eye cream because she would do it beautifully. She finally did. And that is the anti-aging eye cream from Paula's Choice. Now this one will treat early signs of aging with antioxidants like vitamin C, help plump up with hyaluronic acid. It's got lightweight emollients that will help moisturize the area but doesn't feel greasy or heavy. And overall nourish the area around your eyes. If you're dealing with more advanced signs of aging, discoloration related to pigment, whether it's sunspots or genetic discoloration underneath the eye, or just really want to kick up your game and don't have particularly sensitive skin, Sea Tango from Drunk Elephant is probably your best bet. It has five different kinds of vitamin C in it to help brighten the pigment as well as provide amazing antioxidant protection, along with a host of other antioxidants and non-fragrant plant oils that will help protect the eye area from more advanced signs of aging. You can have some light drying or peeling just because the vitamin C is so active, especially if you haven't used an active product around that area before. So those of you looking to target more advanced signs of aging, this next product is for you. It's the First Aid Beauty Retinol Eye Cream with Triple Hyaluronic Acid. While retinol isn't a first choice for most sensitive skin types, this is a beautifully formulated product and I have no difficulty recommending it, as long as you're willing to be judicious in how you apply it. This is a micro-encapsulated 0.5% retinol with ceramides, emollients, anti-irritants, and three different types of hyaluronic acid. It also has a couple of antioxidants that help boost the effectiveness of the retinol and even out skin tone. That sounds like an all-in-one miracle product, right? Maybe. The thing you need to remember is, unlike the other two products where you can probably just jump into using it every night, this product needs to be used very carefully, only at nighttime, and because it's your eye area, it's a higher risk for irritation. So if you're willing to go in very carefully, this could be an awesome product. All right, so those are my product recommendations. One final word of advice. Eye creams don't tend to do very well with deep puffing. Eye gels tend to do a little bit better with that. All the links will be down below. Leave your comments. What's your holy grail eye product? Have you found one yet? And with that, I'll get you back to your live coverage of the Snowpocalypse 2019. And we're back in our weather studio. As you can see from my warm, cozy fire, temperatures outside have begun to plummet. The view from our weather deck has certainly gotten grayer. As you can see, the snow is beginning to fall with predicted snowfall reaching between six and 14 inches, it could be a lackluster or amazing snowstorm. Let's step outside and get a closer look. As you can see, we've just gotten out to our weather viewing area from Hidden Lake and the weather is indeed apocalyptic. The snow is coming down. It has accumulated at least one tenth of an inch and promises at least one more. As you can see, these two geese are fleeing for their lives. And now back to the studio where I can edit this video with a warm adult beverage. Tune in next week for a scathing expose on Bang Energy Drinks, a nutritional supplement, or your child's gateway to a lifelong meth addiction. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this very playful video. I'm gonna go hunker down and enjoy the fire because the snow has actually begun and I have to work tomorrow. Take care.